Welcome, welcome, Laura Aleman. Thank you for taking the time out to talk to Urban Latino Magazine. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure and I'm super excited to be here. Yay. We are here today to talk about Perfecto Anfitrión, but let's take it back a little bit. Start to get to know about you. You were born in Ponce, Puerto Rico. And you started acting at a young age. Your family uh, is involved in theater, television, mm -hmm. recording studios. So you've you've been in the limelight and, and in the front uh, center stage since how old were you? Um, I mean, since I was since I had uh, use a reason. <laughs> My mom is a vocal coach and a singer and she was always in shows or touring with artists. So. We're either in the recording studio or in the green room or uh, backstage uh, with her. And so that's how I started getting involved. She started putting me in show. She started doing recordings with me on certain albums, publicity. And I fell in love with it. Inevitably, I started dancing when I was three and thought I was going to be a choreographer and dedicated my whole life to it. But life had another plan with, uh, with me, so... I just went with it and fell in love with acting. I was fortunate enough to have work and to keep having work till this day. That's amazing. And putting in the work from a young age, seeing your mom as an example, I'm sure definitely helped, helped shape you into the artist actress that you are today. She's one of those uh, single moms, hustlers, inspirational women that, has been everything to me and I've always wanted to make her proud because she she worked so hard to raise us and and she gave us the focus the discipline and the awareness of how privileged we are to be in this industry and so I just want to honor her and and do what I love amazing amazing and doing what you love took you to hunter college you you studied filmmaking in hunter college i started studying acting in sacred heart university did a uh, transfer to hunter college uh, with my acting major then from there i went back to puerto rico and started my production major went to spain to do a practice over there in toledo in jose ortega and gasset and yeah that, that's basically it <laughs> that's that's Prime example of what putting your 10,000 hours into something looks like going in and learning as much as you can, because look at where you are now. You're, you've been in a bunch of movies right now. Uh, your most recent project is The System, which is in post-production. Uh, yeah. It's a movie going to Netflix, Casa Grande, which is also in post-production for HBO Max. Y Perfecto Anfitrión, which is going to premiere November 18th, 2021 in movie theaters nationwide. That's exciting. You guys just had your premiere a few days ago in Puerto Rico. How was that? Amazing. I hadn't seen the movie before, so I was looking forward to it and I was super nervous, not knowing what to expect because it was, it was done during the summertime. And all of a sudden it was already out. And I was like, wait, how do they do that? Is it, is it going to be good? Like, is editing good? Is like the whole project going to look up to the quality with such a short amount of time in between production and post-production? And to my surprise, it was a jewel. It is a jewel of a movie. I feel very privileged to be part of it. The cast was amazing. Production value is up the roof everything went so smoothly and it shows the chemistry among the, amongst the cast amongst the crew the love that we put into this project shows in the quality and the result of it that's amazing what you said you you guys filmed over the summer over summer 2021 yes end of april beginning of may that was literally when we shot so mm -hmm. it was like a speedy project <laughs> Wow. How was it filming in Puerto Rico? It was amazing. I mean, this is where I grew up. This is where I started my career, where I started doing films. And so everybody that was on set, I've been working with since I'm 16. And most of them started as interns or PAs or assistants when I started in the film industry. And then all of a sudden I find most of them in this project. I'm working with the director that has been my friend for 11 plus years. I'm working with the cast, most of the cast. I've, I've worked with most of the projects that I've done in my career. And so coming back home to be amongst family and friends, 
is again a privilege an honor to be back in my homeland and to be able to enjoy my people and to feel at home that's exciting to be able to be on set and then be like vecina no me morita por un cafecito <laughs> literally that was it it's like no vamos a get found the que cut okay para para <laughs> para cenar o la casa de la tía or something like that like, like you felt like literally in casa doing something that you love that's yeah. that's great with people that you know that you're that you're used to working with chemistry in any project is important and i'm i'm excited to see this film a thriller which you don't really see in Latin culture like I, I've never heard of a thriller please someone send me a list but Perfecto on Three Triong is going to be on that top list of thrillers how was that experience tell us tell us about your role in the movie and and what your favorite part about playing this role is well Monica is my my character she is a, a woman who, who has constantly been under the control of somebody else her family is very conservative and possessive of her she decides to get married to a, an older guy to try to escape from that reality and then ended up in a worse situation because her husband is also possessive and jealous and so she uses her best friend's breakup of her engagement to go on a trip with them and be out of everybody else's ruling for the first time in her life. And so she is discovering herself through this journey and understanding who she is and also trying to find herself through the example of her friends, trying to be like them, trying to experiment with new things that she has never in her life thought she would ever do. And And she was a, a pleasure to actually play because I think that throughout the pandemic, a lot of people got to look inwards and start dealing with our own inner inner demons and heal a lot of our past. And so I just had gone through three years of not have done movies here in Puerto Rico because I, I just brought my family out of Puerto Rico throughout the Hurricane Maria's crisis in a humanitarian flight, I was taking care of them. I had gotten married, divorced. I had had, I've, I have had a, a bunch of things that have happened in that spam of time. And this was my comeback. And so all those insecurities that grew throughout that process were put into this. And it was transforming. It was healing. It was beautiful. And it was amazing to be able to share that with the people I love who were with me and amongst me in this production. Wow. <laughs> be able to take your own life experiences and bring it to this character. I'm excited to see this. Like, I'm really excited to see this and, and to see Latinos getting into more genres because we're, we're known more for Latin lovers, uh, the sexy vixen, but, you know, to show a story that's, that's, going to keep you on the edge of your seat and then also teach you something about yourself possibly yeah that's great we need more stuff like that in the latino community so you're also getting into music you have music coming up how's how's that for you i'm excited i think i've, I've always been playing with music and creating music i think that i've always done what other people have somehow guided me to do within the music industry because you know my my mom is in the music industry and so I always embrace their guidance but I never felt like I was clicking with what I was doing because it wasn't my idea of what I needed to do and I, I appreciate and embrace that experience because that made me aware that that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do with my music and went on on this journey of self-discovery with it and I'm in that point where I'm actually happy about the type of music I'm doing the people I'm collaborating with and and finally going for it but for myself more than going for a record label or 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 trying to make it big it's, it's for me and for my own necessity as an artist. I, I keep saying amazing and exciting and wonderful because, <laughs> you know, I'm at a loss for words, but, but that's exciting. That's exciting yeah. to be able to take control of what you see for yourself in terms of, yeah. of music, the music industry back in the day, from what I heard, it's like 
the label tells you, you sing this, you wear this, you put your hair this way. And it's like, you know, you're like a little doll, but we live in the yeah. age where we can make decisions and, and say, no, así que yo lo quiero hacer y así que yo lo voy a hacer. Tal cual. It's been, it's been a, it's been a journey of self-discovery, self-love, self-acceptance. And I think that that, that's the reason why I, I do what I do. I do acting, I do music, I do art because I needed to understand myself. And the only way I could do that was creating and going through other people's lives and experimenting with other people's music in order to find my inner voice. And I feel very, very privileged to have had such an amazing journey and have gotten to this place in life thanks to what I love doing. The beautiful thing about it is that because you've studied acting and, and you've studied filmmaking and you're in music, people have been saying that Latino representation in media is not seen as much, but we're changing that. And I've been saying for years, like, if you don't feel you're being represented, if you're not being invited into the door, you have to build the door. You have to build the building yourself. And that's what you're doing. So I already see you doing like the whole soundtrack, writing the <laughs> script. Like I see a whole production worked by your hands and I'm looking forward to seeing, to seeing more of you, to be honest. Yes, me too. I hope that this is the beginning of a lot of beautiful blessings coming this way and, and just a lifetime of creating and self-discovery. Mm -hmm. So where can our fans, where can the Urban Latino Magazine fans and your fans check you out? What are your social media handles? What's your website? My social media handles are on Instagram is Laura Aleman official, L-A-U-R-A-A-L-E-M-A-N official. <laughs> Same with Facebook, Laura Aleman page. Same with in, uh, Twitter, Alemán Laura. And yeah, basically that's it. Por todos los lados. Encuentra todo every, everywhere. She is everywhere. Thank you so much, Laura, for talking to Urban Latino Magazine. Perfecto anfitrión. We are excited to see it. And just keep representing and keep rocking for us because you're doing a great job. Thank you, girl. And I hope that this is the first of many interviews that we share together and, and get some time to hang out. Face to face, now that yeah. things are opening up again. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Laura. Have a great day. To you. No tengo un celular con diamantes, de mucho quilate para impresionar. Pero tengo una buena conversación con la que te enamoro más y más. Yo no tengo cara linda, ni tampoco los millones, mucho menos las mansiones, pero yo tengo tu amor. I got your love. Por favor, díganme que no soy la única que lo ve así de bueno. Yo tengo tu love. ¿Qué? No me miras así como si yo fuese una cualquiera. Yo no dije nada. Ay, no, pero lo estás pensando. Oh. Desapareció una mujer y ustedes no están buscándola. No, no, señorita, nosotros estamos haciendo nuestro trabajo, ¿sí? Anita es la que está desaparecida, que está en todos los carteles. Ay, güey, no inventes, hay como un millón de Anitas en el mundo. 